Witness the dramatic spectacle of a lunar occultation of Venus. On March 24th, lucky stargazers in some parts of the world will have the chance to see the moon pass between the Earth and Venus, causing the planet to temporarily vanish from view. But don't worry if you're not in the right place. A close approach between Venus and the moon will still be visible globally. So what is a lunar occultation? Why is it only visible in certain places? And how can you spot this particular Venus moon occultation on March 24th? Keep watching to find out. A lunar occultation occurs when the moon passes in front of a planet, a bright star, or another astronomical object. Since the moon is close to the Earth, its exact position in the sky differs depending on your location on Earth. The position of the moon as seen from different parts of the Earth can vary up to two degrees. That is about four times the size of the full moon. That's why this occultation between the moon and Venus is only visible in specific parts of the world. This map shows parts of Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and Africa, where the moon will move exactly in front of Venus on March 24th. How often does a spectacular celestial event like the Venus moon occultation occur? It takes Venus 584 days to return to the same position in the night sky as seen from Earth. This pattern is known as the synodic period of Venus, and it begins with the planet emerging from behind the sun as an evening star. For 263 days, Venus will be visible in the evening sky, before disappearing for eight days as it passes in front of the sun. Then, for another 263 days, Venus will be visible just before sunrise as a morning star, after which it will disappear behind the sun for 50 days. Then, the same synodic period starts again. Venus, just like the moon, goes through a full series of phases during this cycle. Beginning from a thin crescent, it gradually waxes into a full disk and then wanes again to a crescent before disappearing altogether. As for the moon, it approaches Venus every month in the night sky in its orbit around Earth. As Venus is always close to the sun, the moon will always appear as a crescent moon during a Venus moon occultation. Due to slight variations in the moon's orbital plane, a Venus moon occultation only happens twice a year. This year's first occultation will be on March 24th, when the Moon and Venus will be in perfect alignment. Venus will be 80% illuminated, and it will be shining at an impressive apparent magnitude of minus 4. That makes Venus the third brightest object in the sky, after the Sun and the Moon, and easily visible to the naked eye. It's no wonder why many people mistake Venus for a UFO. The Moon that will occult Venus will appear as a 12% illuminated crescent Moon in the evening sky. Who can witness this spectacular lunar occultation of Venus? In all honesty, it will be a bit of a challenge to see it. For people in Southeast Asia, like Hong Kong and China, the occultation will start right after sunset at 18.30 p.m. local time. Look towards the western horizon to spot Venus and the moon low above the horizon. For those in India, the occultation will occur during the day and start in the afternoon at about 16 p.m. in the southwest. In the southern part of Africa, the occultation will be visible as well, but it will start at 10 a.m. in the morning in the eastern sky. The total event from start to finish will last about one hour. With Venus and the moon being very bright objects, you may be able to spot the occultation with the naked eye. However, using binoculars or a small telescope is recommended, especially when you're trying to witness the occultation during the day. It is useful to download free online astronomy apps like Stellarium that show the exact position of the Moon and Venus in the sky at your location and time. If you miss this one, the second Venus-Moon occultation will occur on November 9, 2023. If you like this kind of content, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity. Good luck and clear skies. Thanks for watching.